Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to solve for x when we have parallel lines. Now it's very important when we have parallel lines, we have um, our angle relationships, or actually just when we have two lines in a transversal, we have angle relationships. Um, however, when we have parallel lines, those angle relationships now are going to, um, those angle relationships now actually have some you know, meaning. And I'll kind of discuss each one of those. The first thing though I'd like to do for each one of these problems is first identify what the angle relationship is. Okay? So if we can at least get to that start, that, that for, therefore that's at least starting with, okay, here's what I recognize. So in this case, um, you can see that these two angles are like in the exact same position of the intersection. They're in the top left quadrant. So those are what we call corresponding angles. Okay? Now, it's important for corresponding angles for us to remember that corresponding angles are exactly the same. So if I had, you know, uh, the measure of angle A is equal to the measure of angle B. That is for two corresponding angles. However, that is only true, you know, if you look at the theorems and postulates, that's only true when you have parallel lines in a transversal. Okay? So it has to have parallel lines. But you can see for this whole video, all my two lines are parallel. Okay? So um, we have these two angles are now going to be equal. So all I need to do to this solve is I just need to I just need to set up an equation. X minus 18 is equal to 115. Add 18. Add 18 to both sides. X is going to equal that'd be 133. Okay. Now again, they're exactly the same. So you could replug in 133 in for x, and x really just kind of depends on the problem. You know, are you solving for x or are you trying to find the angle measure? In this example, we're trying to find, uh, we're actually just solving for the value of x. So, but you could see that these have to be the same. 133 minus 15, or minus 18 is going to give you 115 anyways. But um, there you go. That is, uh, that is at least our first one. The next one here is you can see that we have two angles that are on the interior, and they're on the same side as the, um, they're on the same side of the transversal line. The transversal line is the line that's going to intersect your parallel lines. So those are what we call consecutive interior. Now, consecutive interior angles, these two angles right here, um, based when you have parallel lines, consecutive interior angles are supplementary. And again, that goes back to a theorem uh, that you'll have in your geometry book. So I know that these two angles, since they're supplementary, because we have parallel lines, since they're supplementary, they're going to add up to 180. So I'm going to write the equation x plus 1 plus x plus 4 equals 180 degrees. Now, I didn't really need to put parentheses in there, but I just wanted to put parentheses so you can see how I differentiated between those two angles. Now, I can go and combine these. This is going to be 2x uh, plus 5 equals 180 degrees. Uh, Hmm. Fuck. Subtract 175. That's not divisible by 2. What the hell? 